Mike, what is Joe alluding to in this franchise? Yeah, I mean, he's been a big part of the history here. Um, you know, I think his just love and passion and joy for the game of hockey, I think it rubs off on, on everyone from the, you know, his first game with the organization to, to today. You know, uh, you know, seeing it on the rink, it's infectious and having him smile and be around and just love to, you know, talk hockey, be around hockey. I think it's, uh, you know, it's a huge part of, of what this organization is. What can you say about Joe from a city level? So he's a player and now GM here. Just the connection he and, and you throw Patty in there too. They have with the city. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, when they're part of the sports franchise here and it's kind of the, the only, really, I guess, the Niners are here too, but in San Jose itself, the only team here. And, you know, they're, they've been the face of the franchise here for um, many years and had lots of success and are great people, um, great in the community. So, um, you know, I think it's something that, um, you know, I think they were, People here are proud and to have them kind of represent, uh, you know, the community. Do you have a favorite Joe Thornton memory? Uh, probably not that I can share with you guys. <laughs> uh, no, I think he's, uh, I just, just will always remember just him not taking any days off, really. Um, you know, he always showed up to work, um, whether he was banged up, not feeling well, whatever, he was always working and, and um you know, having played with some other really good players in the league, um, you know, I think that's what, you know, Yago was the same way. Showed up every day, worked, did extra things, and was always available. So um, it was pretty, always pretty cool just to kind of see him work behind the scenes. Now, Patty said that one of his strengths uh, was his ability to turn the page on things. Um, is that something that you saw when you guys were playing together that he didn't let a bad loss, bad game, or whatever just linger? Yeah, I'd, I never saw... Too many things really bother him. Um, you know, I think it goes back to his kind of love of the game. I think he's – every day he was in the league and in, the, in playing hockey and in the National League, he, I think he was, you know, was a blessing for him. So showed up and worked. And, and uh, you know, even though he probably had the pressure of the world to try and win here, um, I don't think it ever really got to him. Is that something that, um, you know, obviously he has Macklin with him and you have Patrick with, with, uh, with Will, that maybe that they can take a page from Joe's book in, in that way, or all your young players? To, to yeah, I mean, page. yeah, I think, it, I think it's a great trait to have, um, you know, for, you know, not just our young guys, for everyone, um, to not let, you know, one bad shift turn into three bad shifts, turn into a bad period, turn into a bad game, and the next bad game. Um, so that's something I think our group can learn, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a skill that Jumbo has uh, had, had in spades. What would Jumbo have to do with the culture of those early years to keep your own? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it was, like I said, he showed up, showed up and played every day, which um, I think was a big part of things around here. I don't, I don't think anyone wanted to let him down or Patty down, and, you know, if he's playing on a bum knee or a bum shoulder or whatever, I think everyone else felt like they had to get out there and do the work as well. So um, I, uh, he was definitely a big part of it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's what every winning organization has. So, um, you know, I think that's the type of mentality we're trying to build towards and, and uh, you know, it's baby steps for us. But, you know, Joe and those teams is a big part of it. From your standpoint, what does a weekend like this mean to the franchise and building that culture you're talking about and seeing the guys like this come back and some old teammates and just the camaraderie that never never goes away when you go into battle with these with, with your former teammates? Yeah, I just think it's a great weekend of celebration. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of guys left on the roster who have connections to the past. Um, so to have the alumni here and, and you know, and have Jumbo be celebrated and to talk about the old times. And I'm sure there's old videos about, you know, the games and the playoffs and things like that that went on here. I think it's, uh, I think it's, 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 it's really good for our group to kind of try and uh, get a little bit of connection to the past. Does uh, Jumbo know that he's the director of Vibes, and does he like that title? Uh, uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask him. He's, uh, you know, he can have whatever, whatever title he wants. Did any of the guys? Give it to you that you're not in the lineup tonight. Maybe was there any thought on your end? Maybe I should play. Maybe I should. No, no one uh, gave it to me yet. But uh, 
I don't know. Um, it's I'm here every day. I think it's 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 nice for the guys to come back into town and and be around and be in the room together and, and uh, get on the ice together. So you know, this is the weekend for to celebrate Jumbo and also celebrate the alumni and get those guys who are out of town back in here and, and let the fans get to see them uh, another time. Do you ever think about the uh, position you're you're in as a GM now of this team with former teammates and kind of the journey that it has to take for everything to go right to be a part of a moment like this where you're in the in the front office but also get to enjoy it as a former teammate? Yeah, I mean it's pretty special for me to um, you know be a part of Patty's night and now to be a part of Jumbo's. Um, you know, they're two teammates I had the utmost respect for. Um, so you know, it's a it's a special time and. Um, yeah, you know, very, very, uh, very fortunate. We were uh, talking with Dan Boyle, and he said one of the reasons he chose to come here was because of Patty and, and Joe. Were you kind of in that same category when you came here as a free agent? You wanted to, to play with those guys here, or how did that all work out? Yeah, I mean, those guys are definitely had, um, you know, some pull to come here. And, you know, for me, it was a, a chance to win. Um, you know, the year before we lost in Game 7 of the conference finals, in Buffalo, and um, you know, you looked at what they were building here with you know Jumbo and, and Patty and the and the group of players they had here. Um, you know, I just looked at it as a you know a real good opportunity to try and win a Stanley Cup. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.